front leg is on you, on you so your re the reach is hard. But if I was southpaw, I can when I with my backhand I can stick. Scotty James, who's coming in hot. Scotty James, boxing glove mittens. He's ready for a fight today. Scotty has been on fire this season. This is my house. Oh, I think this story's gonna have a happy ending. <laughs>I kind of want to test something, but I don't know what you're going to say. Okay. What? Nobody's here right now. I kind of want you to try 12 and see how it feels. Yeah. Nobody's here. I know you got plenty in your legs. And I think that if you do that, it'll kind of set things up a little bit different in your head. You just gave me a nervous shiver down my spine. <laughs> The idea of the switchback 12 kind of came out of nowhere. So when James told me to do it the first time, I felt this nervous shiver down my spine. And I just was like... I'm gonna start filming and so is Sean, but just so I have some baseline stuff you can watch tonight. So Both James and I had been thinking about it. Honestly, I didn't really think I would do it. I don't know, it's just such a technical trick. What makes it so hard is that we don't spend any time, even from a young age, riding switch much. Switch back, really, you know, you learn how to ride cab, but you don't, no one really fundamentally learns how to ride switch backside. It's just such a weird um, feeling. That was your best run of the day. Like, basically, you're set up to just fire tomorrow. Yeah. You know, do six warm up runs, three regular, three switch, and then just get after it. The switch back 12. Three 360s, so it's a 1260 with two off axis rotations in the middle. I've been having nightmares about this trick or this moment that would come. I knew it was going to come and I knew that when the time was right, James wouldn't hesitate to tell me to do it either. So, you all good? What's up? You all good? Yeah. Seem yeah, a little good. melancholy. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just focusing. Okay. I'm trying to get shit done. Well, don't focus too much. Remember, have fun. That's when you get like, it's really good. Yeah. My mentality with most tricks when I'm learning is that you don't know till you try. So, and I struggle if I go up there with a goal or I've got something to achieve. And if I go home and I haven't done it, I feel like I've let myself down. So, everyone had gone home. The sun was still shining. It was just myself and Danny Davis still riding. First try, uh, obviously, just. Toss the thing. Right, this one should be good. I had good intentions as to how it was gonna go, but it didn't go the way in my head that I thought it would, and um, copped one on the chin. But I uh, persevered. That's a good one to wake you up at least. Yeah, it was a good one to wake my airline up. <laughs> It took me like six or seven tries to get the first one and every single time I'd gone up to try it again I was like please land this one so I don't have to do it again, please land this one so I don't have to do it again and sure enough every time I crashed and I had to do it again. Oh, shit, <laughs> shit, that's a good one. Danny's been, he's a pioneer of half pipe snowboarding and he's done some pretty sick stuff. Dude, sicko! That's his favorite Australian word, you sicko. Well, you took a different line because you dropped in so close to me, I was just like, whoa, it's good that it's annoying because it's a trick you basically just learned and now it's just like an in-between trick. It was a slow progression. It took me you know, months and months and months just riding switch backside or just riding the half pipe switch before I could even get out of the pipe. And then after that, you slowly start to do switch backside spins. Um, that's, the, that's the scary thing about it. I mean, it's such a blind, awkward trick. So when you're upside down and flipping over twice, it's already not natural. You sure you got enough energy? Yeah. So it looks like you're fucking tired. Let me see. You can't, you're standing up like this, and then you're rolling your body. You've got to stay low, load it up, and make the board do all the fucking work. I 
I just wanted to land the Switchback 12. It was kind of this um, thing that was lingering around on my shoulder. It was like the devil was talking to me saying that I wasn't going to land it. first one was just like, still feel it. The energy in my bones and up my spine. Switchback 12 tested me more as a person, as an individual, as an athlete, as a snowboarder, and, and I just overcame it and it was awesome. <laughs> Thank God, I'm about to run out of battery. Progression of snowboarding half pipe. I honestly feel like, you know, now I think the 1440s and the, the variation in 1260s and different technical tricks that we're kind of just scraping the surface, honestly, I think. I mean, I think it's an exciting time for snowboarding half pipe because we definitely have a really good group of guys. The revolution of half pipe riding, I think, is always going to go in a healthy direction. So what's next uh, for Scotty James? Everyone had gone home. The sun was still shining. It was just myself and Danny Davis still riding. First try, uh, obviously just toss the thing. Right, this one should be good. 